Yo, what's up guys? It's FDB366 and I'm here with a tutorial on how to start up this McDonnell Douglas MD80 and get it uh, ready for takeoff. Uh, this is the brand new X-Plane 11. It has uh, pretty uh, amazing features compared to its previous version, X-Plane 10, which I still have on this computer. Apparently, I don't know why. So today in this tutorial, I will be starting the plane up. It's pretty complicated too, so that's why I'm do I specifically chose this plane because uh, most people that choose to fly this plane happen to get very confused with the startup procedure it has. Uh, but I figured it out uh, through a little bit of trial and error and a little bit of my pilot knowledge as well. Uh, so this is part one of my video. In my next video, it'll be uh, part two where I arrive at my destination. So today, it's just going to be the departure portion of the video. So what we're going to do is uh, I'm going to show you around the uh, simulator first. Uh, if you know, if you've played X Plane Ten before, if you well, I should say, if you have flown on X Plane Ten before. Uh, the air, the planes weren't that detailed. It was uh, very, you know, the airports were very dull and deserted, and nothing was there. We've also got these brand new reflection features on the plane. It's pretty neat. Uh, the airports are more alive. You'll see it as we're taxiing. It's gonna be pretty neat. So we're gonna get uh. We're going to get into the cockpit and we will get this machine started up. Alright, so when you look in the cockpit, you can see why I said it's so complicated. Uh, you can see that almost everything in here is analog except for the four digital indicators. And, yeah, but I, I know how to start this up, so... First, we're going to go to our uh, overhead panel, and yes, definitely it's very complicated looking, but uh, once I show you how to do this, you find that it's not that hard. So, turn on our battery. Uh, you can see that this indicates the fact that it's on. We're going to turn on our uh, fuel pumps, our start pump, and we're going to hit our, where's my master switch? Right here. Volumes up. While we're at it, we're going to turn on our generators. Our APU is available, so we will now start the APU. Turn on our APU bleed. Passenger signs, no smoking. Set to on, this will set to captain. Now go over here. Over here, and we're going to go flight plan. This will be the airport we are taking off out of, Seattle. And this will be the one we will be arriving in the next half of this video. I will not give it a flight number. Execute and that'll be our active plan. Alright, uh, for departure, we will choose runway 16 left. We will be doing the flight, uh, this flight without air traffic control because the air traffic controls here on here is very annoying and it, and it 
drives me crazy because it keeps repeating things over and over again. So, I've done this flight before, so I can do it without the ATC. Um, next, go over here. Now we're going to prep for any tower, November, zero to x-ray, Papa. Anything that's in green is not my ATC range, so let's turn these on. Um, yeah, I think that's From what I see right now, I don't think uh, anything else needs to be on. Our windshield wipers are off. Uh, radio repellent is off. Pressurization is, go is good. Oh, we need to test it. Uh, oh, wait, y'all damper was already on. We're going to test the uh, stall. Alright, so our stall definitely works. Fire engine. So our fire alarms have worked. We test the stall warning. Uh, now we will turn on our hydraulic pumps. That'll be our first step of prepping for engine start. Now I'm going to call for pushback and we will get to the taxiway and start the engines. Okay, I'll send the push card. Turn our working brakes off. Here we go. These are just the exterior lights. We don't need those because it's daytime. They come in handy if it were night. Alright. Uh, push back. Okay, I'm clearing now. November 0 2 X ray. Papa. Runway 1 6 center. Clear to land. Runway 1 6 center. Clear to land. November 0 2 X ray. Papa. Our parking brake has been set. So we are now here, stationary. And now before we turn on the engines, we're going to turn on our cross valves right here. Alright, now we can uh, successfully, we now, now that our uh, things are on, we will now go to here and turn on those two switches to get the engine power ready. And we're going to go to our ignition switches. And we're going to start with the right engine. Power, my power always drops in the first one. There we go. 
All right. Now that our now we're gonna wait for our first engine to stabilize, and we will start our next engine. So now we're going to start our next engine. We're going to go to the overhead. Two. Now let's go outside and take a look at what this is like. So we're good there. Zero, two, x-ray, Papa. gate, taxi via, one, six, center, Papa. hold short of runway, one, six, left. Gate, taxi via, one, six, center, Papa. hold short of, one, six, left. November, zero, two, x-ray, Papa. Since I'm in the area, it's going to do things like that. But now we are going to put our flaps down. Two notches there. Alright, let's get onto the center right now. That was a very bad taxi start. I'm not good at taxi, so... I'm good at flying, but... I like the sounds of the, of the little bumps that it makes.
right here. Um, Another thing I like about the runways on this November way, zero two X-ray. Papa cross runway one six left. Cross one six left. November zero two X-ray. Papa. Again, those green lines don't apply to me, but we are on the runway, so let's get uh, flying. Again, if you see the runway uh, curving up like that, actually all runways in real life are not level like that, so kind of adds more realism. So here we go, take off. November zero two X-ray Papa contact ground on one two one point seven. Contact ground on one two one point seven. November zero two X-ray Papa. Alright, this video will be continued in part two, uh, where I perform the landing at the destination we will be arriving at. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, stay tuned for part two.